basic mission is to provide free furniture to people moving out of homeless shelters, living with HIV and AIDS, and fleeing domestic violence. That's our core reason that we're here. And we do that through two processes. We do a free furniture pickup service. So if people want to donate furniture, um, they're getting rid of a sofa or whatever, we will schedule an appointment and go to their house and pick it up. And then we bring it to our warehouse and we store it for clients for when they're moving into permanent housing or transitional housing. Um, the second way that we do that is we partner with other agencies in Atlanta, like homeless shelters, um, some churches, other nonprofits that work with our core clients. Um, and when they're getting ready to move into permanent housing, they'll get a referral to come here and get all the furniture they need for their home. Okay. So we have all the sofas, and we have a bazillion dressers, and all kinds of stuff. Chairs, tables. Um, and it was taking clients about two hours to pick out furniture, which is not a terribly long time. But we started staging the furniture up front, and mm -hmm. now the client appointments go so much quicker, and everybody's getting more furniture. Um, well, I think it does a lot for clients. I've started trying to interview our clients when they come here and then to check up on them a couple months or so after they've been here. And we did one story on a lady who had three children, and she and her boyfriend had just moved to Atlanta maybe a year or so prior. And she talked about how before coming to the furniture bank, she would just hop from a friend's place, a family's place, in a shelter for a while. But once she came to the furniture bank and finally felt like she owned something um, and had something that she could be confident and proud of, she didn't want to move anymore. Um, and her son kind of chimed in when I was doing the interview and just talked about how great it was to finally be in one place and to have a bed and to have a room um, and that he was just really thankful that he got to be here. He was nine years old, so mature. And I think living through situations like that makes children really mature like that. Um, and he was finally going to get to have a place that was really stable for him. My name is Carmen and I um, I came to the furniture bank because I needed furniture, of course. This is the very back of the warehouse. Um, there are no particular order for our size or condition. Um, however, we do have mattresses and box springs for children on this side. Very good, yes. Okay. Yes. some furniture but I was in need of like bedrooms and um, a den. I just moved into another house and so I I was told that I could uh, possibly get something because see I, I also have my younger brother who's 20, my niece who's 18 and my nephew who's 17 and my grandbaby who's 4 and I don't have enough furniture to accommodate all of them. And so today we'll accommodate the yes. family. Yeah and we'll We'll, we'll have a, we'll make our house a home. $61 can provide a bed for a child. Cool. I think it's something like $80 provides a bed for an adult. 